Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave and today I'm going to show you five steps to water fed pole maintenance that will make your pole last much longer. Make sure you keep watching for step number four where there's a handy tip to stop the clamps on your pole from coming loose. <laughs> Loosen off all the clamps on the pole and take it all apart. Now pull your pole apart to all the separate sections. Once you've got your pole separated, wash all the sections down with a hose pipe and then dry them with a soft paper towel or a cloth. Check for any worn tape and remove it. The tape needs to be replaced with a good quality electrical tape or a 3M tape. The end of the pole is particularly important because the tape on the end there will help stop the pole from wearing when it rubs up and down inside the others. You need to give it about between a wrap and a quarter and a wrap and a half. There needs to be enough room above the tape for the clamp to sit. Once you've replaced the tape, give it all a spray with a dry PTFE tape. Make sure you don't use WD-40. This will help stop getting black on your hands and it will also help your, poles from slide, help your poles to slide in and out. Fit shock absorbers. There's nothing worse than when the clamp comes unattached from the pole. This simple little tip will help stop that from coming off, saving you loads of time. So I've got off eBay a set of O-rings. You need an o-ring that's slightly smaller than the pole, put it on the end and slide that right up to the clamp. This is going to act as a little shock absorber so it will stop the pole from knocking the clamp off but it will also help stop getting your fingers trapped in between the clamps. Check the clamps and reassemble the pole. The garner poles have a little shim that takes most of the wear this is worn out, replace this before putting your pole back together. If you follow these five simple steps, you're gonna get much more use out of your pole. It's gonna last you a lot longer and be a lot easier to use. I've done it on a gardener pole, but the principles are the same for any pole you use. If you've got any pole maintenance tips, please leave them in the comments below on the YouTube video. If you found this useful, please feel free to share it with your friends. Press the thumbs up button, give me a like, and subscribe to my channel. If you, when you subscribe, if you press the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, YouTube will notify you every time I release a video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.